What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we've got another lovely light blue box of joy which is the Craft Vapery box. So once again the lovely people over at Craft Vapery have sent me a nice little box to unbox for all you guys and it's a little bit bigger than normal today. We've got something special in here but we'll have to wait and see what that is a little bit later. So let's quickly go over some of the things that have been going on over at Craft Vapery. Uh, they're now going to be carrying the Vape Forward Vapor Flasks. They have the Stout, Light, and Classic all available on their website through their e-commerce shop. Uh, they also have the Golden Ticket Chocolate Milk Liquid, which is available there, uh, as well as a few new brands. Uh, but yeah, it looks like they're doing really good stuff over there. Uh, obviously, they've changed their pricing breakdown. Of course, you can just check out their site and it's going to have it right on the main page there for you. Uh, but you can basically choose from a basic package, which is free, free membership. Uh, you can have the plus package, which allows you to get the member pricing for $4.99 a month. And with the premium package, uh, starting at $14.99 a month, you get the uh, lovely little light blue boxes of joy. So make sure you check out their website. Of course, I'll I'll have the links in the description below. Uh, I'd also have an updated coupon code there for you if you want to get 20% off your first month's box or 10% off anything in the e-commerce store. So make sure you're checking that out. Uh, I will like to state my intent. Um, I do receive these products for free. However, my opinions on the uh, service itself as well as any products that are contained in this box will remain honest and accurate uh, as always. So. Uh, with that being said, let's go right down to the close-up view. Can't wait to get into this month's box, so let's go to the unboxing. All right, guys, so extra big box this month. As you can see, Craft Vapory there. You can see the seal is still intact, so let's change that. Got my trusty scissors here. And with one fell swoop, She's open. Are you ready? Oh. All right, packing list. Get rid of that. There we go. There's my name. Let's just read what's in here real quick. Wow, a whole bunch of flyers once again. We got our flavor cards, which I'm not looking at. Oh, well, here we go. So we got a, a personalized note again. Not sure if that's a permanent thing or if that's just for this little special edition box that I got here. Um, but that's nice, a nice touch. Uh, thanks for choosing Craft Vapory. Enjoy the liquid from the Craft Vapory team. And it looks like Andy procured this box for us this month. Getting to know Craft, so. All sorts of information there. You can feel free to read that if you'd like. A little bit more information about Craft Premium and the price breakdown and all that good stuff. Of course, we've already gone over this in previous boxes. Then once again, the best of the box, they want you to use the hashtag uh, best of the box all over different social medias and post it everywhere, your favorite three liquids from every single month. So there you go. Make sure you get on that. Um, of course, once again, I haven't done that. So whatever, I'm lazy. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and see what's under this foam here. Oh yeah. Oh, well, speak of the devil, wouldn't you look at that? We have a vape forward product here. Of course, this is not going to be in your Craft Vapory box. Uh, I had the lovely people over at Craft Vapory send this to me for the purpose of doing a video review on it. So make sure you keep an eye out for that coming in the next uh, week or so. I'll try to get that out to you guys as soon as possible. And let's just quickly take a peek of what's in store for us. Oh, oh, look how sexy it is. It's the new Vape Forward Stout the 26650 mod. So I will be sure to get that video up as soon as I possibly can, but uh, be on the lookout for that because it's coming soon. Unfortunately, your Craft Apery box will not contain a stout. I'm sorry, uh, I know, I know, I'm a tease, but uh, we do have Craft Apery candy, which we get every month. That's, uh, that's a nice touch. Let's see what we got for juice. First up, we have Poor House. Uh, the flavor is Butterbean. 
So let's hold that up to the camera. See if we can get it in focus. There we go. I love the interesting looking labels on these. Next up, we have Propaganda, and the flavor is Subliminal. Okay. Our next bottle, King's Crests, Blue Queen. Lovely looking there. And last but not least, we have Crushing, and the flavor is Tiger. Cool. All right. So that's it. Nothing else left in that box. So let's just put that aside real quick. And uh, yeah, so let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape, and talk about these liquids. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the unboxing portion of this video. Now we're moving on to the first impressions on the juice that I got. Uh, as you can see, I have some dry cotton here. And we're, let's go right into it with the first flavor from Poorhouse Butterbean. Uh, the PG-VG ratio is 30 PG, 70 VG. Primary flavor profile is creams, custards, and vanillas. And the flavor description reads, Poorhouse Vape brings out the custard lover in everyone with Butterbean Sweet and Creamy Butterscotch Blend topped with an expertly applied caramel drizzle. Uh, so more on the uh, savory and dessert side, which I tend to not favor the dessert vapes too much, but you know, honestly, lately I've been getting into them a little bit more. Uh, I'm using some Fuse Claptons on here, and I feel like Fuse Claptons really brings out some of the subtlety and flavors. So uh, let's just go ahead and drip this up and we'll try it out. So before we go any further, I do want to state the fact that I will be dripping these over each other, so by no means is this a final word on any one of these liquids. It's just basically going to be my first impressions, my first thoughts on um, you know that initial taste to it. Uh, and with this one here, I get more of a maple syrup kind of candy kind of flavor out of it than anything else. Uh, I can't say that it's mostly caramel or vanilla. I really get uh, almost like a stack of pancakes, which... I mean, I'm French Canadian, I love pure maple syrup, and I think that's a good thing, but uh, to, you know, be brutally honest, I don't think it's kind of close to the flavor profile that they're describing. However, uh, the flavor itself is pretty darn good, uh, what I'm getting out of it at least. So maybe it's just me, maybe it's the fact that my cotton is still brand new in here, and I, it hasn't broken in yet, but that's what I get out of it. So our next flavor is going to be Subliminal by Propaganda. The PG-VG ratio is 40 PG-60 VG. Um, uh, primary flavor profile is candy, secondary is berries. The flavor description reads, This sweet and sour razzmatazz style candy has got us hypnotized. Uh, pretty short and sweet flavor description, so let's drip this one up on here and we'll try it out. So this one definitely has a bit more throat hit, and uh, actually just looking at the bottle right now, I noticed that it's 6 milligram, uh, not 3 milligram, so not sure if they put the wrong bottle in my box or what, but yeah, definitely not going to be for me. Uh, probably going to give that one to a friend that vapes 6, but uh, the flavor that's in it, not a big raspberry fan, so I'm going to have to give this one a thumbs down for me personally. Uh, but again, don't take that as the final word on this flavor here. Uh, personally, I just don't like raspberry, and I really can't vape 6 anymore, so that one's going to be uh, for one dear friend out there. So, uh, Next flavor is going to be King's Crest Blue Queen. Uh, the uh, PG-VG ratio is Max VG. Primary flavor profile is candy, secondary is berries. The flavor description reads, What happens when blue cotton candy collides with kiwi and raspberry? The matriarch of fruity cotton candy is born. So this one sounds pretty good, so let's go ahead and dry off our cotton real quick and we'll try this one out. So immediately, I noticed two things about this flavor. Uh, first of all, it definitely produces a lot more vapor than the previous two. Uh, and second of all, the flavor in it is a little bit light. So uh, honestly, I, I kind of get that cotton candy, almost a burnt sugar kind of flavor out of it. And then it's kind of a mix between a sweet raspberry, a little bit tart, and you kind of get that 
slight hint of kiwi. It's not really as prevalent as I would have liked to have seen in this one, but uh, that's kind of besides the point. Uh, again, never been a big raspberry fan, but it's not too noticeable in this one. I get mostly cotton candy. Um, so yeah, the flavor is a little bit light, but it's okay, I guess. It's like kind of one of those ones where you're up in the air about it, but yeah, I guess it's vapable. Uh, I'll say that. So <laughs> finally, my flavor, is, my last flavor is Crushing's uh, Tiger. The PG-VG ratio is max VG, primary flavor profiles berries, secondaries tropical and exotic fruits. The flavor description reads, Tiger by Crushing E-Liquid is a sweet berry and melon combination that zigzags over creamy undertones from a brand new flavor, sure to make your taste buds roar. So, that being said, let's go ahead, dry out our wicks here, and we'll vape this one. So again, I get a lot more vapor production off of this one than the first two liquids that I tried out. Uh, the flavor on it is actually really tasty. A uh, nice berry blend and a little bit of melon. I get a little bit of cream in there and maybe, I'm thinking, maybe something like pie crust or something like that going on. Uh, whatever it is, the combination is great. I do really enjoy this one. It's, I've tried the whole crushing line before, um, but I've never had my own personal bottle of it. So uh, I'm gonna be definitely diving into that one uh, probably right after I, I end this video here. So uh, really quick, I did wanna give my first initial impressions on this device here. Uh, with a big shout out once again to the people over at Craft Apri. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate that. Um, so my first impressions on this thing, I absolutely love the battery door design. Um, it just kind of flips open like that. And, you know, I am using my 26650 battery in it today. Uh, I might have to get some new ones though because these things are a little bit older. But when it clicks into place, it has that nice uh, clicky kind of feel to it. Uh, real, real nice design as far as that aspect goes. Um, the buttons are nice on it, a little bit rattly, uh, kind of, um, yeah, a little bit rattly, but not too bad. I mean, I don't know if you can even hear that, honestly. Uh, but yeah, the, the tactile kind of feeling to it, I like how they're a little bit raised and uh, nice and rounded. That feels really good in the hand. Uh, as far as holding it in your hand goes, it's a great shape. I absolutely love this kind of form factor where it really, uh, you, you just know when it's in your hand. And uh, I guess that you could kind of only hold it one direction. I mean, it kind of feels weird holding it this way, but this way it just feels really, really natural. So I've got a griffin on top of here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a, f a first puff off of this thing. So just based off that first pull I just took, uh, I noticed that there's not a lot of delay time between when you push that fire button and the device fires up, which is definitely going to be a good thing in my book. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to leave a comment in the box below of what you think of Craft Vapory or any other subscription box service or any of the liquids that I received in this package. If you've tried them before, let me know your thoughts on them. Uh, also, check out the link I have in the description uh, for Craft Vapory as well as the coupon code. That's going to save you 20% off your first month subscription box and 10% off anything in the e-commerce store. Uh, check out the advocacy links in the description. I have them down there for you. Make sure you're fighting for your right to vape, as well as all my different social media pages. I have Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you follow me on there, like my page on Facebook, and check out my Snapchat. So that about does it for this video, guys. And as always, vape on! This is the best part about craft apron. Skittles. <laughs>